Hello everyone, and welcome back to this year's garden. Last time I posted a video when I had most of the plants planted, I had said that I would do an update video once everything was in, so we can look at what we had planted. It was just raining so much that day and muddy, it was just too hard to do, so I'm going to try to quickly go through this, because every time I do one of these videos it takes forever. <laughs> these two little rows right here, radishes on the left, spinach on the right, all the radishes now are ready to be harvested. And the spinach, once again, at this place, I cannot grow spinach. It gets up a little ways, shoots up and bolts. You can see right here what I mean. I mean, it's not that big of a plant. You wouldn't want to harvest those leaves yet. And it just is already flowering. I think every year I'll still continue to try to do the spinach. I think it just gets, it maybe it needs to be planted early. It seems like we're really cold. And then all of a sudden it gets really warm and uh, it just doesn't grow well here. Peas are doing real good. These are my sugar snap and my mammoth melting sugar. They're growing real nice up here. Over on this far side we have the Progress 9, which are not as big, but they're a nice dark green plant. It's still early enough. We'll get plenty of peas. My dry beans here, these are my dragon tongue, and on the far end over there is my Great Northern. They're doing super good. Uh, right here, where I did have the cow peas or the black-eyed peas that didn't grow, I decided to put something different in here. These are called Mexican Sour Gherkins. Never had them before. What they end up being is they're like a two-inch cucumber that looks like a little watermelon, and they have to be on a trellis, so I'm going to let them vine up here. And when you eat them, they taste like a sweet cucumber, but at the end, they're supposed to taste like uh, kind of sour, and it kind of tricks you into thinking that they're already pickled. Anyway, when I read that, I had to give them a try. So this right here, these are my viney plants right here. And yes, you can see this row is not straight. And that's for a reason, because I've got all this pumpkin stuff in here that's going to, I mean, all this is just going to fill right in. So trying to give the bigger stuff a little bit more space. Here we have acorn squash, which I don't much care for, but my folks love it. Over here I've got zucchini. And this one here is the prize winner pumpkin. This is a regular pumpkin. Over here is another prize winner pumpkin. This right here, which I lost the tag for, I believe that's cucumber. Another acorn squash. Here I've got a crimson sweet watermelon, supposed to be 20, 25 pound watermelon. That's also a crimson sweet. Yellow squash. Yellow squash. Zucchini squash, zucchini squash. Here I've got another watermelon that's a crimson sweet. Back here we have an ambrosia melon. Cucumber, bush pickle cucumber. And over here is a sugar cube. I think it's like a cantaloupe. Okay, so over here on the left we have broccoli. On the right we have cauliflower. All the way up to here, still cauliflower on the right. We have celery on the left, eggplant on the right, kale on the left, still eggplant on the right. Right here I've got three kohlrabi. The last year was the first year I grew them and they were really good. Collard greens right there, Brussels sprouts. And then I had an empty spot and even though I did not like the okra that I grew last year, even though I grew tons of it, I had to try it one more time. This right here is my beets. They're coming up pretty good. Over here I've got green peppers, and that's a red pepper, but not a hot one. Actually, I've got four of those. Then I've got more green peppers here. Over here, this is my carrot row. I finally got that weeded out. That was done with the seed tape, and it didn't turn out too bad. There were some that didn't germinate, but I, I was actually quite pleased. Here we have green cabbage, and then we've got the purple cabbage, or the red. And right here we have some Swiss chard, and this is the rainbow, different colored ones. So here we've got two rows of beans. I've got, you know, provider beans here. I've got golden wax, then I've got purple beans, and I've got some Bush Lake 274 on the back side. This here was the row that was the Bush Lake 74 that completely failed, so I planted 274 in there and I'm surprised some of that didn't germinate also but most of them are just coming up now they just started popping up a few days ago and this is one of the things that along with those gherkins over there I'm planting peanuts I grew peanuts and cotton that my grandparents brought down to me 
man, that had to have been at least 20 years ago. And I did get some, so I saw a peanut plant, decided to get one and give it another try. Here we have the potatoes, and you can see they're just growing really good. This was the row that I planted myself, the actual potatoes from last year that I grew that didn't do so, so well. But I did from this plant to that plant, I did plant more potatoes. And as you can see, they're just starting to pop up right now. I don't know that I'll get that much out of them because these were not planted early. But at the same time, uh, I'll get something out of it. And if I went to put anything in there, I would have got nothing. These are the purple potatoes, and you can see even the leaves have kind of a different color to them. Anyway, they're doing pretty good. They're just a little bit different than the other ones, but I'm really excited to see how big the potatoes are, how many you get, and it'll just be exciting to have a purple potato. Here's this year's onion patch. I've got yellows and reds, and they're doing good like always. I, have, I get a lot of comments on this one here because people, a lot of people watch the video I have on the life cycle of an onion, and they want to know how this year's are doing. Well, as you can see, they're doing pretty good. These here are also bulb onions, but I planted these, I don't know, two or three weeks later, just because I had room and I had extra uh, sets, and they're growing. They'll be a little bit later, but not a big deal. Here's my spinach that I planted over here. I mean, this gets shade because of this big pine tree right behind me, and it's still shooting right up and going to seed. Here's all the tomatoes. They're just doing good. I mean, I still need to get a couple of cages for these, but otherwise, they're right on target. Some of them are even starting to flower. They've still got about four more feet to grow, but they're trying to, trying to make some fruit. Here's all the surprise garlic that I actually planted last spring and didn't get anything much out of it and didn't do anything, and it popped up this spring, so this was just a nice surprise. Here we have basil. We have mint. Oregano. What was this called again? I just thought it was a neat looking plant. French lavender. This is a basil, but it's like a globe. That's a different kind of oregano there. It's actually Cuban oregano, and if you look at it, it's just got like really thick leaves on it, so I had to give it a try. Got some lemon thyme. That dill that seeded itself from last year is growing. That cilantro that was also from last year that I just transplanted over here. Chives that went from doing good to going crazy here, and I'm excited. This is the, my mom's chives here that she's had for years and years that I mean, I have a cutting of that she's been growing for years, and I'm going to try to collect some of the seeds out of that. Flowers when it goes to seed and see if I can't grow some, you know, just from seed. A few raspberry bushes are doing really good. This blueberry plant still has nothing on it. This one actually is producing blueberries that need to get blue. Rhubarb, like always, is doing good. Okay, so for this part of the garden, that's everything that's in it. So now you all know, and I bet you this video is still getting super long. <laughs> These here are the new raspberry transplants. They're alive, they're not dying off, but a lot of times you plant these and then the true, really good producing ones are the ones that shoot up from the roots. So we'll see what happens with these this year. These are the strawberry plants that I transplanted from the main little strawberry garden where I put that board in so you could walk. And I mean, there's 50 or 75 strawberries at least just on these plants alone. Wait till you see the other one. This is the main strawberry patch right here. And I know that uh, I talked about this in the last video, but was it two years ago or whatever? This started as, I don't know what it was, eight or 10 plants. And this is all has just grown up itself. And this literally has hundreds, if not a thousand, strawberries on it right now that are ripening. They are everywhere. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Now we're all updated on what's planted. And I really like doing these videos because lots of times I have to come back and watch this video to see what it was that I planted as soon as I lose the little sticker thing that tells me what it is. All right, well, I guess we'll see you guys on the next video. Won't be long now. We'll have some garden greens to go along with dinner.